Man, it's hot and humid today. Long grass, lots of rain. How do we solve this problem? So when I got back from the beach, when I left for the beach house, we were in the middle of a drought. Two and a half week, no rain, things were dying. I had to run the irrigation system. Then the week before I came back, rain every day, seven inches of rain in seven days. This place was absolutely flooded out. Ryan wasn't able to get over here and cut the grass enough. So when I got here the first day, I was like, dude, I got to cut this grass yesterday. So I would say it was probably five, six inches tall. Uh, this is a mixed cool season mix. Cut it. And then yesterday I did not cut it. Today I'm cutting it again. And what am I doing? I'm slowly going down step by step just to, I don't want to take it immediately down. And that's what I recommend. Give it one cut, take, you know, about a third off, drop it down, wait a day, drop it down, cut another third. Otherwise you're going to end up possibly hurting your lawn. So you can see it actually looks pretty good. I would need to get this back manageable, but here's the problem. The problem is, is now that I'm starting to get it down, I'm getting a lot of clippings and guess what? We've got another thunderstorm coming in tonight. Then I got three days of sun and then I got some more rain where it's like 50% for the next three days after that. So we're getting a lot of rain. Rain isn't the issue. The issue is going to be really thick grass, lots of moisture, possibly fungus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double cut this. I'm cutting it on a free flow mode. And what does that mean? Well, you got to be careful with this, but whatever you want to do is, is don't do anything that's going to disrupt the flow of the grass. So in other words, uh, you know, make sure that if you have a side thrower, that the side thrower is up on this ego. I am not using the bag. I'm actually cutting it the first time. And what I do is I prop my back open. Now I can do this because there's no sticks or rocks or anything back here. Otherwise I'd be tearing up my shins. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm, as soon as I'm done with my first cut, I'm gonna come back with a bagger, I'm maybe even bump it up a little bit just to pick up some of these extra clippings on here. When you start to get into these periods where you've got a lot of rain, you got a lot of humidity, you're gonna run the risk. If you, if you keep, if you got a thick lawn like I do and you keep putting those clippings down on it, you're gonna run the risk of some disease popping in there. So keep getting, get it down step by step. The next thing I'm going to do, um, I don't have any green chalker here. I was going to put out green chalker. I don't have any, so I'm just going to put down dirt booster. It's a cool season lawn. It's hot, but I'm getting plenty of rain. And I've already put down my fertilizers, you know, before I left, so... Looks pretty crappy, doesn't it? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Lots of rain, can't cut the grass. Now you got a whole bunch of clippings. It's crazy. That's what it is. Now what I'm gonna do, here's one of my tricks. So I've got all these clippings up here, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go up one click. I'm gonna put the bagger on it and go up one click because all I wanna do is just pick up this extra. When I go the other way now, there's a good chance I'll actually be cutting more so i'm just telling you try this trick cut it once leave it open side discharge whatever you have and then come back a second time and just run with a bagger unit on it and uh, it's easier the grass is a little bit drier you're not getting those plugs and uh but it's still it's a lot of work So you can see very clearly from those three stripes there that what I've done is I've actually bumped up. I went from a whatever it was, a two to a three on the Ego. I put the bag on it and I'm just sucking up whatever's on top. I do not want to cut any more. If, there, if there's a little bit of grass clipping still on there, that's fine. That's good for the soil, everything else. But the excess is what I want to pick up. 
I do not want to leave these big clumps on my lawn, period. Wow, that looks good. Even with the bright sun hitting it, it looks really good. So again, I, have, I went from this long shaggy grass, gave it one cut, took about 30% off, went to this crap covered lawn. <laughs> then I bumped it back up and just sucked off those extra clippings and man, wow, I feel so good. Tonight at 9 p.m. we have a big thunderstorm coming through. I'm all set. I am so happy right now with this lawn. Look at that. Is that crazy or what? That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so getting ready to do the pond frontage. Well, let me walk over there and show you that real quick. Let me show you what's coming up this week. Oh, yes. Doc's got about 40 videos that he needs to do for you guys. I just... I. I I got up at 6 a.m. this morning. I was at Walmart at 7 a.m. Had to do all my shopping. Uh, got back, started working and worked all the way until about a, two hours ago. Went and finished the other video I did. Came back out, cut this grass. It just doesn't stop, dude. You, you either own a farm or you have a job. That's what I've learned. <laughs> all right, so this is the last area that we really have to take care of. And I've got a skid steer and I've got an I've also got an excavator coming to fix some of these drainage areas But with the skid steer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm getting both buckets and the bucket with teeth I'm gonna do what I did out back. There is a ton of debris. There's granite. There's uh, Countertops, there's logs. There's metal fence posts So I'm gonna come in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape this whole area with those teeth and I'm going to do it on a diagonal because I've learned um, either a diagonal or a line so that when water flows through here, all my crap doesn't wash away. Then I've got 18 yards. I've got a whole big truckload of topsoil coming in. We're going to come in and we're going to put that good topsoil on top of here. Not necessarily level it out, just add some decent topsoil. But today I had to come out here since I'm getting ready to do that next week and seed. I had to come out and spray all this. So this has all been sprayed. And it's ready to die so it's had a full day of exposure get a little bit of rain tonight should be fine knock on wood if i have to spray it one more time i will but i think that'll do it so anyways that's how you cure when you have when you have lots of rain your grass gets too tall just do it in steps man just take it in baby steps baby steps mm -hmm.